Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome if you're new. In this video I have another houseplant unboxing for you guys, this time from Logies Tropical Plants, which is a greenhouse located in Connecticut that also happens to ship. Now anytime I talk with a plant collector I notice I always hear about Logies and I've never actually gone ahead and placed an order with them, so recently I was perusing their website and I saw they had a lot of Hoyas available, so I went ahead and placed an order with those Hoyas and got four of them, so I have four Hoyas for this haul today. Of course they have a lot more plants to choose from, but me personally, I work at a plant shop and when I order plants there's never any good Hoyas available so if I want some fun Hoyas I have to order them online and Logies seem to be the perfect place to do so so I am very excited to get inside this box okay so of course as always we are greeted with some paperwork but I'm noticing they have a lot of things in here. So they have some unpacking instructions and some other stuff that I'm not going to go through right now. And we have some packing paper, which is good. I prefer packing paper over packing peanuts. So this is a good sign. Alrighty, and it looks like we have the four plants laid nicely inside. And I noticed that most of their plants ship in two and a half inch pots, which is rather small. But from what I've seen, I've seen some good things. So I'm Excited to see what the size plants they are when they ship in such small pots, but if I'm not mistaken I feel like they're going to be shipped in this nursery style pot right here That's square and kind of tall so we might have some nice plants, but we will obviously see in just a moment Okay So packing paper it's actually like very thin packing paper, but the plant seems to be okay Alrighty, so oh this is a nice size look at that for a two and a half inch pot, so they're a little bit more squat than the ones I was thinking they would be. So this one is a Hoya Iris Marie. And I noticed when I looked this one up that I really liked how the new foliage comes in. It's like an autumn hue, kind of, it's like very red, you can kind of see. And it looks really nice. It's kind of like nothing spectacular in terms of the foliage, but I really liked how upright it was too. It kind of looked a little bit more like a less drapey Hoya and a more like upright one. So I thought that would be kind of interesting to try growing. A few slightly broken leaves, but honestly, I'm always expecting some broken foliage whenever I place an order online, so that is something to be expected. As long as the plant is like intact and it has new growth and all of that, I'm feeling pretty good, and I feel pretty confident that Logies is a reputable place, so obviously these plants are pretty probably well-rooted, so really liking what I see so far. It would be nice if there was more than one plant in the pot, but I mean, they're rare Hoyas, so what can I ask for? All right, and then there's a little bit of this paper on top, and then just the soil underneath. So it seems to be a way of packaging that works very well for them because the plant obviously came in really well condition. So yeah, first plant down, Hoya Iris Marie. Plant number two. All righty. Obviously, another Hoya. I already spilled the beans. Okay, this one's in a bit of a taller nursery pot. So this one is Hoya Ban Nagong Nagoy. I'm definitely not pronouncing that correctly. And when I looked this one up, it looked very similar to Carnosa, but with larger leaves, but the flowers. I know Hoyas do not flower for typically a number of years when you bring them home, but the flowers on these ones were so incredible. They had purple with a white outline. It was just stunning. I definitely recommend looking it up. So this was a really interesting one. I wanted to give a go. I haven't really seen it before. And I really love the splashes on the leaves. It kind of really does look like a Hoya Carnosa meets a Hoya Pubicalix, but that doesn't bother me. I think it's really interesting to have this more out there Hoya in my collection. See how we're looking after we remove all the paper. Alrighty, and here we are. So no broken leaves on this one. It looks really good. We have this tendril coming out right here that is completely green with new growth and not dying back at all. So this is a really, really healthy plant. Once again, just one in the pot, but a really, really healthy and a nice chunky one, I will say. This is a really nice cutting. Okay, moving on to our third plant. little cutie. So this one is Hoya David Kamingii. It's kind of a long name, and it's a name, I'm assuming, like a person's name, I'm assuming. Probably like David Cumming, 
David Cummings, one of the two. So I need to do more research on my botanist. So <laughs> this one right here is the pink flowered wax plant and the leaves, they kind of remind me of a mix of like Hoya Kentiana meets my Hoya Bilobata DS70. So nothing too remarkable, I will say, but I've seen this one honestly be kind of like expensive online and it wasn't very expensive from Loji, so I was like, uh, I think I'm gonna give it a go. So to be honest, that was kind of my thinking. Once again, it looks like this is just one plant in the pot, so I think that's what I know to expect, but really, really, a, a really, really healthy cutting that they send. Obviously, it's a very healthily rooted cutting, so I'm... I cannot complain whatsoever. These plants are in impeccable condition, so I am really impressed with what I'm seeing. All of them have new tendrils coming out. None of them have dying back growth. They all have new leaves coming in, so I'm really stoked so far. And I should mention that on the website, I'm seeing different prices on the tags here, but when I ordered all these plants on the website, I'm pretty sure all of them, if not most of them, were $14.95 or $15 for the most part. So not necessarily inexpensive when you think about how you're getting one little plant in the pot, but I would consider a good deal knowing that I scour my sources and I can't get these Hoyas anywhere, so I would not be able to get them in the shop that I work. So keeping that in mind, I think this is a good deal and a good find. All right, we have one more Hoya to unbox. I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. I will definitely be ordering from Logies again. So, our last one. Let's move our box down. This is a Hoya Elagiorum, I wanna say. Elag, Elagorum or Elagiorum. So this is a really lovely one in the way that the leaves have some nice veination to it. I think it's kinda hard to see that far away, but of course I'll bring you guys up close. So I was reading about this Hoya on a website called Vermont Hoyas that my friends recommended to me and this said they said this is a must-have Hoya, so I thought why not? Once again it has a very nice tendril, you can see it was probably grabbing onto something when it was in the greenhouse, the way it's kind of spiraling around. One cutting, once again, but a really healthy cutting of a plant that I cannot get anywhere else as far as I'm aware, unless I was like ordering it on like Etsy or something. So I'm really thrilled with what I'm seeing. I'm really excited to have these four new Hoyas in my collection. It's always really fun collecting new Hoyas. And alongside Peperomias and Aroids, I've been finding myself collecting Hoyas as of lately. I mean, who isn't? They've been definitely a very up and coming plant on the market. So I'm just, Perhaps I'm just following the trend, but I just really love what I've been seeing. And once I did have one flower in my home, or I brought home that one that was flowering, it was just, they just had such a presence, and I really enjoyed that presence that they have. So it goes from being still a lovely plant to being a phenomenal plant. So I'm really excited to see how they, these ones grow over the years. These are already very established cuttings, so of course I won't see flowers within the next year or so, but I wouldn't be surprised if I see them in the next two or three, if I have them in the right conditions. Okay, just to recap on all the Hoyas that I got today from Logis Tropical Plants, I got this Hoya Iris Marie, this Hoya Ban Nagong Nagoy, this Hoya David Kamingii, and also this Hoya Elagiorum. These Hoyas are definitely testing my pronunciation game when it comes to the Latin of plants but I am really excited to have these plants in my collection. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on this Logies unboxing video. Of course, I will leave a link to their website in my description. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.